Okay. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to present、um, our work co-clustering for federated recommender system, and this work is finished together with、uh, Liu Shuo,、uh, Jackie Kun, and my supervisor Jin Weihe. And、um, this is a road map of our presentation today. And、uh, we will start from some basic introduction with the rapid development of the e-commerce and、uh, digital services. People now spend a large amount of time online exploring the、um, products or the services tailored to their preference. And、uh, at the same time, recommender system has become an integral part of our daily life, which would recommend the contents、um, that、uh, may tailor、uh, may capture the users.、Um, Uh, interest or the、uh, or the preference based on the user browsing history on their own devices. However, these systems usually operate by consolidating vast amounts of data centrally, leading to potential the、uh, privacy concerns. So instead of directly sending user interaction data to a central server. Federated recommender system、um, processes the data locally on users' devices, and only the essential model updates are sent back to the、uh, central server for centralized model learning. So I will briefly introduce the federated recommender system since we've already discussed it in our previous、uh, presentation. And the architecture of such system include a central server and multiple clients, each representing an individual user, which could be the personal lab. Top、uh, mobile phones, and each user maintain a rating vector locally, which capture capture the preference or the decision making patterns of the user across atoms. And this should not be shared as a private data of the user, which is also too limited to train an intelligent recommender model for each user. So the ultimate goal is to. Uh, of the recommender system is to learn personalized models for each client, benefiting from diverse local data while maintaining the user privacy. So、uh, let's firstly take a look at a very typical federated.、Uh, Learning algorithm, so the Fed a、uh, Fed average. So this is a standard approach in the federated learning to aggregate updates from the multiple clients to a central server. So in the in the federated learning, we have the central server and multiple clients, each holding local data. So the process would begin with the federated learning server sending the initial global model weights denoted as. Uh, w sub t ling sub t zero to each client, each and each client starting with the client one through client k computes updates based on their local data. For instance, client one updates their model uh w sub t zero to w sub c one t one, and、uh, similarly for the rest. After local training. Uh, each client is sending their model updates back to the central server. Here, the server computes the new global model with、uh, W sub T I by averaging all the updates from clients, and this process would be repeated in multiple training round. Um, however, in practice, the data available on each device is generated or produced by the different user, which may reflect the、um, user's decision-making patterns or the preference.、Um, Uh, and it, this is usually non-identically and independently distributed. So a single global model、um, may might prevent the model achieving the better performance for each user. So, so、um, considering the data heterogeneity, it's naturally to group clients with similar preference into clusters and learn a、uh, group model for each. Cluster, and however, we observe that the typical clustering method, which groups the clients using a distance function applied to the update weights, is very inefficient due to the curse of dimensionality. So, um, and. Uh, Uh, to illustrate the challenges further, we analyze the results of applying the k-means method with k equals to two and k equals to ten on the movie lens dataset for client clustering, and、uh, we could see that、uh, from the figure on the right hand side,、uh, the result of k equals to two reveals a highly imbalanced outcome、um, with、uh, with 
one cluster contain only a single user, and the, the rest contains the and the, the other one contains the rest of the user. And when the when the number of the cluster increase to the 10, the situation does not improve. Eight out of the 10 cluster contain just a single user. And to address these challenges, we propose the co-clustering co mechanism, uh, co fabric for federated recommender system to effectively group clients. And then I would uh, introduce our method in detail. So the core insights of our proposal method come from firstly the heterogeneity across clients in a federated setting, and secondly, um, the the idea of the collaborative filtering, which is to predict the interests of a user by collecting the preference from the uh, from many similar neighborhoods. So the key solutions are we group. Client, uh, we group users based on a specific item category within each communication round and generate an intelligent group model containing the collaborative information from the similar user. And as such, we could transfer the beneficial knowledge incorporating collaborative steps while protecting user privacy. And we also uh, introduce a supervised uh, contrastive term into the local training process to ensure that the locally learned atom representation will return the global insights. Um, as we mentioned before, it's improbable for users to possess identical interests across all atoms, but they would have some shared preference uh, for the different types of atoms. So we propose to classify users based on their likeness or dislikeness uh, towards different atom categories. And to do this, in each communication round, the server would first perform the global aggregation over uh, like n local item embedding matrices. And to categorize items, each row of global item embedding V sub G would be grouped into K cluster via K means method. As such, we would obtain a global, a global atom membership. And upon obtaining this um, atom membership, the server would send all this, uh, would send this vector to all the participant client where the value of the uh, membership I'm at a specific index J indicates the cluster to which the atom J belongs. And uh, um, as we mentioned before, uh, it's impossible for users to have the identical interests across the items. So um, we are going to classify users based on the, their likeness for the different item categories. Specifically, during each communication round, the server is required to serve a core client C and an item category K. And it tries to find the neighbors of the client C regarding the atom category K by computing the similarity among the core client and all other uh, participants on the selected atom category. Mm -hmm. And with all this with all these scores, we use the first elbow point to divide the participant client into a similar group and the dissimilar group. Aggregation is conducted only within the similar group, and all the participants in the similar group will update their atom embedding uh, with the group model. And we comment that if the user demonstrates shared taste for a particular uh, category of item, atoms, probably they will have some other common preferences. As such, this aggregation would uh, facilitate the transfer of beneficial knowledge and would, uh, while protecting user privacy. And the clients within the dissimilar group will return their local a model to prevent the transfer of the low quality knowledge among the uh, heterogeneous data and they would wait for the next communication round. And then um, using the label information, super, uh, supervised the contrastive learning learns representations that bring pairs with the same class label closer and push pairs with a different class label apart, which could improve the quality of the representation. Uh, in our case, uh, items are categorized um, 
uh, into the different class, different uh, category. So the atoms categorized within the same cluster are considered as positive pairs, and those from the disparate clusters are treated as negative pairs. So we will introduce uh, supervised contrastive learning into uh, the local training process of each client. And the, the objective of the local training uh, on client U is to minimize the binary cross entropy loss plus the supervised contrastive learning term. And, uh, then I would uh, show some experiment results. Um, as we look at the table, the improvements made by our method are substantial and the assailant one is its performance on the movilence data set. And if we take a look at the results of the fed per gene, which lags behind all other, all other baselines, we could conclude that the privacy protect nature of federated recommender system limit the uh, graph models to capture the high order user atom interaction. So potentially containing, cons constraining their full potential, their, 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 their full ability in this task. Thus it's compiling to use the co-clustering methods to capture the collaborative insights and neighborhood information. And I also select some extra experiment results to uh, to show you. To, to enhance the preservation of user privacy, we employed the virtual rating strategy, sampling atoms at varying ratios and randomly assigning uh, virtual rating in local data, as shown in the table uh, on the on the on the on the left hand side. Um, the as the virtual rating ratio increase from zero to forty percent, our method experiences a very slight performance drop, and even at the noise ratio of forty percent, our method uh, could outperform some mm, the majority baseline models. What's more, um, on the on the right hand side, the results of incorporating our model with different uh, backbones indicate that our proposed model is independent of the specific local models, which means that we could easily incorporate our mechanism uh, with many other baselines. So um, we've reached the end of our representation. Uh, presentation. I want to thank you all for your attention and.